9-11, we're less than an hour away from a six-week abortion ban taking effect here in the state of Florida. It would be one of the most restrictive laws in the entire country. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward joins us now with reaction from both sides of the controversial issue. I'm Willow. Willow Fernandez is six years old, her sister Valentina just 14 months. Still, hours before Florida limits on abortion change, their mom Lacey worries about their future. Having two daughters, like I feel like, you know, when it's time for them to, if something ever, you know, I feel like it's their choice to be able to pick and choose, you know, what they want to do with their body. 14 other states ban nearly all abortions. The Sunshine State allows them up to 15 weeks until Wednesday, unless the pregnancy is the result of rape, incest, human trafficking, or involves fetal abnormalities or threatens the pregnant woman's life. Abortions after six weeks are illegal. If there's a heartbeat, then you can't perform an abortion in the state of Florida. Just like you have a heartbeat, just like I have a heartbeat, the law protects us, that extends now. Anthony to. Verdugo represents Christian Family Coalition Florida. He believes the new law protects life and choice. Women who are pregnant will still have access to the abortion pill. Uh, that is not something that in Florida has been completely banned because they can still get it by mail. Uh, so the issue of choice and the issue of option will still be there. The reality is that a six week ban is a total ban. Planned Parenthood doctors say the change is arbitrary, doesn't make sense, and while their clinics will stop providing abortions after six weeks in Florida, their social media posts and podcasts promise to do anything but back down. We know just how scary and frustrating bans and restrictions can be. There's tons of emotions to navigate and questions about where to go. While their staff plans to connect patients beyond six weeks pregnant with providers in other states, a November ballot measure could change the state constitution and reverse the new law. Supporters recently rallied in Orlando. We can't let patients be under the risk that the Florida government is putting them under right now. That ballot measure needs support from 60% of people at the polls in November. If it happens, Florida abortion limits will change again in January. In Doral, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.